Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Nishita. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. PST. So in today's video, I'm just going to sit here and show you guys the products that I recently purchased. It has both makeup and skincare. These are the products that I've collected over the past, you know, one to two months. A uh, few of these I have tested out. A few of these I have not. Actually, most of these I have not. So let's jump into it. First, I'm going to start with the skincare. So recently, I got Got this uh, Cosrx uh, Galactomized Alcohol Free Toner. Uh, this is like a spray toner. You can, you know, either directly like spray this onto your face or you can just, you know, spray this onto a cotton pad and just wipe your face. I have used this. Like, I think I used this for almost a week and I started to notice that it was giving me like uh, tiny bumps on my face. Not like acne pimples or anything, but I started to see that, you know, my skin was becoming bumpy. And once I've stopped using this, they went away. Uh, I was sure because, you know, these days I'm being very careful as to what uh, skincare I'm using. Uh, so if I start like using a new product, I make sure I'm not using anything new on my skin. So if it reacts badly with my skin, I can know I can isolate the product. So that's why when I was using this, I didn't use anything else. And as soon as I stopped using it, all the bumps went away. But, you know, it feels very refreshing on the skin. Uh, it hydrates the skin really well uh, but it just was breaking me out in some way I don't know what it was but yeah so probably uh, I'm not gonna use this anymore I'll probably pass it on to my sister and see if it works with her skin tone even she has sensitive skin I don't know if it will work for her but you know it, it doesn't hurt to try because the ingredients are really good it doesn't have any added in fragrance you know the ingredients are good so I'm, I'm curious to see if it works for her. So the next product that I have is the Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. One of you asked me to do a review of this. So I purchased this product from Target. And also I ran out of my uh, Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Uh, so that's, you know, it's a good time to try this one out. Uh, I just started, it's been only two days since I've been using this because I had just run out of this one. Uh, I used it yesterday when I was not wearing a lot of makeup. I did see that, it, you know, whatever traces were left, it removed all of them uh, and it didn't leave uh, my skin stripped and it cleans off easily. Sometimes when you use these cleansing balms, they just sit on top of your skin and they're very hard to wash off. Whereas this one, it washed off with water very easily. So that I really like and it did remove my makeup. Today in the morning, uh, I was filming some other videos. So in between, right in between when I was switching my makeup, I went in with this and I felt like it did a really good job melting all of my makeup, my mascara and everything and I'm gonna use this like you know for one more week and I'm not going to add any new skincare products while I use this one so if it you know I see any breakouts on my skin uh, I can isolate and tell maybe this is what is causing it so one more thing like if I'm comparing these two this one does a really good job like I absolutely love this one uh, but I feel like I'm uh, like you know going through a lot of these jars and it is an expensive uh, you know product so I thought you know if I could find a dupe but thinking about it now the physician's formula you get uh, only 1.4 ounce of product whereas the green clean one you get 3.2 fluid ounce of product and this one retails for about $38 whereas the target one this retails I think $20 so if you compare the amount of product you're getting and the price you're paying they both are very similar this this one may be more by a dollar or two but this is not you know that inexpensive either but it's doing a really good job since I got it I'm gonna continue to use this you know uh, I'll probably keep both at hand uh, but uh, I'm just letting you guys know that even even though this is cheaper you do get more product with the pharmacy green clean one then i have two skincare products from ordinary actually one is hair care the other is skincare the skincare one that i have is the niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent uh, it's a high strength vitamin and a mineral blemish formula so i've been researching on vitamin b lately and it looks like it is really good for your skin so i thought i would give this one a try and this also has a zinc one percent in it which is supposed to help with your acne uh, so this product is particularly recommended if you have oily skin or acne prone skin so you know when i was suffering with all the acne issues I thought I would give this one a try. So the ingredient niacinamide is known to minimize the appearance of your pores. So that's one of the main reasons why I got this one because you know I do see some pores in my you know t-zone in this area. So I wanted uh, something to help with that and I felt like it did a little bit uh, but it didn't do anything revolutionary for my skin other than that. I have been I almost used this for two months. I currently have stopped because I'm testing some other products. It did help with the appearance of my pores a little bit uh, but other than that I don't know if it's doing anything good. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to finish this bottle uh, eventually and update you guys. But so far it's okay. 
it's nothing revolutionary at least for my skin so next i have this ordinary hair care it's a multi peptide serum for hair density so you know it said hair density so i was sold on it because you know i want to add some volume especially in this area so i used it two to three times so it's really hard for me to tell if it did anything because i haven't given it a fair shot uh but you know i'm going to start using it again because i've been so busy for the past 2 to 3 months i have finally now settled down and everything so now i have time to test new makeup new skin care new hair care everything so i'm going to you know uh, start using this again and update you guys if it helps with my hair density at all so then i purchased a few products from cover effects when there was a sale on their website so the first product that i have is the cover effects brightening uh, booster drops it's like a vitamin c serum it's not an oil i don't usually do well with uh, Uh, face oils because they tend to break me out i've tried even the drunk elephant virgin marula oil which is supposed to be you know uh, safe for sensitive skin i tried that one even that one broke me out so i'm like you know staying away from uh, face oils especially for skin care uh, whereas this one it's not an oil it's actually a serum it's a very lightweight serum i have used this once or twice uh, but i haven't given it a fair shot i need to start using it again um, but this particular product you can use it as a serum you can use it in the morning underneath your makeup you can mix this into your foundation to dilute it a little bit and add extra hydration uh, so yeah i'm 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 excited to try this one out then i got the cover effects mattifying primer with the acne treatment uh, i was looking for a good mattifying primer because these days i'm noticing that my t zone is getting a little bit oily by the end of the day especially when i wear foundations and stuff so i wanted to you know try a good mattifying primer uh, just in my t zone not all over my face so that's why i got a travel size because you know even if i use it every day i'm not going to put a whole lot on my face uh, and travel sizes are way better because you can travel with them you still get to try out the product and you don't have to pay the full price so that's why i picked this travel size i haven't you know got a chance to use this one yet but i'm you know excited to try this one so the next i have the dewy finish setting spray from cover effects uh let me tell you when they say dewy finish it is dewy finish i i have used this like couple times before uh it makes your skin look really dewy uh but it's a little bit too much for me i don't want my skin to look that dewy to a point where it almost looks a little bit oily so this time when i try it i'm just going to concentrate this on the high points of my face because that is where i prefer my skin to look dewy not in the centers of my face and then i have the cover effects uh, mattifying setting spray again i got this because you know for my t zone uh, it's getting a little bit oily these days so i wanted to get a setting spray which is mattifying so you know i thought i could you know use both of these uh, just in my t zone uh, centers of my face i could use the mattifying one and on the sides of my face where i want the do i can use the dewy finish setting spray so those are all the products that i got from cover effects website so yesterday i went to walmart and picked up these drug store makeup so i'm so excited to share this with you guys so first i got the maybelline dream urban cover full coverage protective makeup you guys know how much i love the maybelline super stay foundation so and one of you also requested that i do a review on this so that's why i purchased it right now i am doing a wear test of this particular foundation if it's already up i'm going to link the review down below for you guys if it's not so stay tuned for my thoughts on this uh, new maybelline uh, urban cover foundation and next i got the nix wear with me tinted skin well uh, non comedogenic tinted moisturizer uh, the shade i got is cinnamon mahogany me this one is a little bit dark on me so that's one reason which is you know keeping me from wearing it more but i have worn it like you know to like one to two times before i think it was just once uh, i used it i liked it i didn't like the shade though uh, but you know the formula felt really nice it blended out beautifully it did uh, last for a really long time on my skin it doesn't give you with a lot of coverage because you know it's a tinted moisturizer but the reason that i picked it up because you know there are not a lot of good tinted moisturizers at the drug store so that's why i wanted to give this one a try and it also says non comedogenic if you have acne prone skin uh, look for the terms non comedogenic in your skin care or in, in your makeup products that you're looking for generally because they tend to not clog your pores and give you those uh, pimples so that's why i was excited to try this one out next i picked up the milani soft glow complexion enhancer Uh, the reason i picked this up because when i swatched it yesterday in the store it reminded me a lot of the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter uh, i don't know if it's a good dupe yet but i was curious to test it out this is how the product looks like i know it looks really dark but once you blend it out it blends in with my skin uh, and it looks okay 
As you can see, it adds this nice reflectiveness to the skin, uh, a lot like Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I haven't tested this one out yet. I haven't even applied that on my face. So I am like, you know, excited to see how it works. Then I picked up two blushes. One is from the brand Flower Beauty. It's called their Powder Blush, uh, which is in the shade Peach Primrose. Uh, so this is like a beautiful peach blush. I love peach blushes, especially for summer. And it's like a, you know, a really warm tone. I love blushes like these. So let me swatch it for you guys. So this is how the color looks like. It's a beautiful peach colored blush. I love colors like these. So I'm excited to, you know, test out the formula. Next, I picked up the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove. It's a beautiful coral color. Uh, I thought, you know, it would be fun for summers. Uh, and this is how the blush looks like. As you can see, it's coral coral. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out because I heard so many good things about Milani blushes as well. And next I picked up this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Eyebrow Pencil. I'm always on hunt for eyebrow pencils because, you know, I do my brows on a daily basis and I do go through my pencils very often. Uh, so when Maybelline came out with this new one, I was just excited to try it out. So I'll keep you guys updated as to how this works out. Then I picked up this Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I heard good things about this one as well. And I don't own any eyeshadow primers in my collection. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, test them out. Uh, because I'm someone who just, you know, applies a little bit of concealer onto my eyelids with some powder and then go in with my eyeshadows but these days i've been wanting to you know try out some good eyeshadow primers and then i have few lip products that i picked up the first one is the la girl ultimate intense stay auto liner this is in the shade ultimate wine this is how this uh, shade looks like the beautiful you know wine color lip liner uh these this is the only color that you know looked flattering for my skin color and on my lips so that's why i picked this one up i want to like you know test out the formula i haven't you know uh, given it a fair shot yet then i wanted to pick up some fun lip colors for the summer so the first one i have is this uh, milani bold matte uh this is in the shade i am happy so let me swatch it for you guys. This looks like a beautiful coral. So paired with a brown lip liner, it will be very brightening for my skin tone. So I picked up this color. Then I have the Flower Beauty uh, Miracle Matte Lip. This is in the shade Melon Pop. Whoa, this is neon. This is neon. I won't like directly go in with the bullet when applying this color. Probably I'll just dab it on the centers just to add that, you know, extra brightness to the lips and, you know, brighten up my whole complexion. But this on its own, I don't know if I'll use it because it's too neon for my liking. Then I picked up the Alme Lip Vibes Lip Color in the shade Smile. Uh, you guys know how much I love these lip products. I mean, I, I mentioned these products like, you know, so many times on my channel before. So I wanted to, you know, pick up this color because it's like a bright orange. So for summer, I have been wanting to experiment with more bright colors. So that's why I picked this one up. I mean, it looks orange, but it looks a little bit muted down. Uh, it looks very wearable, actually. So I'm excited to try this one out. I'm loving the color. It's so beautiful. If you have not tried these lipsticks yet, I would say definitely give them a shot. These are hands down one of the best lipsticks that I've ever used. The formula is very comparable to a few high-end brands and even better than few high-end lipsticks that I've tried. I absolutely love the formula of these lipsticks. Then I picked up two Maybelline lip products. One is the Super Stay 24 color uh, liquid satin liquid lipsticks. On one side, uh, you get like a liquid lipstick and on the other side, you get a lip balm. So it's nice, you know, for travel, uh, you can just throw it in your purse, apply the lip balm and apply the lip color to, you know, do your touch-ups throughout the day. Uh, I, this is the lip color I'm wearing on my lips today. Uh, let me swatch this color for you guys. So this is the color I picked up. It's this beautiful, almost magenta pink. The formula is not very opaque on the first go. I have noticed that the opacity of this lipsticks is not the best. You're not going to get full coverage from this lipsticks right off the bat. You do have to build up the pigment. And when I was building it up, I didn't notice that it was, you know, going on patchy or anything like that. It layered pretty well. But I'm just letting you guys know that with one application, you're not going to get, you know, full opacity from these uh, lipsticks. So I'm gonna test this out um, more and more but so far it looks good it feels comfortable on the skin it's not drying out my lips at all and then i picked up this uh, milani uh, rogue sensational uh, bullet lipsticks maybelline has some really good lipsticks so i was excited to try this one out this is in the shade pink fetish uh, let me swatch it for you guys 
So this is how the shade looks like. Uh, it, it's beautiful. I love this color, especially for summer months. It has a really high shine to it. Uh, it's actually looking more like a gloss, so I'm excited to see how this works on the lips. Actually, you know what? Let's add a little bit right now. I don't think it will go with this eye look. Probably not. No, let's not do that. I, I don't think it's going to go with the eye look, but I absolutely love this color. So that brings us to the end. These are all the makeup and skincare products that I recently purchased. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video to this, updating you guys about all the products that I mentioned today. But before that, if you want me to do like an in-depth review on any of the products that I mentioned today let me know in the comments down below I would be happy to do that for you guys so that completes this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next one bye